What is up, YouTube? Let's see, this Puddles A1 here, and I'm bringing you the first installment of Introduction Tuesdays. It is by no means the best name for this series, but it's the only one that really worked. I looked up words that were synonymous with introduction, uh, greetings, and hello. There were like three words that started with T. None of them really made sense uh, going with you know, Tuesday, like Farewell Friday works really nice, but Introduction Tuesday is the best thing I could come up with, uh, because Introduction has the trust sound, Tuesday has the tuss sound, they're really close, but they're, they're not too close, and they're just close enough, you know, uh, Three Little Bears logic, and uh, for those of you that don't know English that well, a little phonetic lesson from Puddles A1, you're welcome from my channel, I did a little bow, you guys didn't see it, but I did a, a bow, anyway, I have an Uber team to debut, it is based on a very special Arceus, um, so let's talk about this team, now I do have the lead Butterfree-esque Darkrai with uh, Dark Void and Thunder Wave. I have a Choice Scarf Zekrom, the very special Arceus. I believe a specially defensive dual spiking fair Fortress, uh, a Dialga that is specially defensive with Stealth Rock, and a max HP, max special attack, bold natured Kyogre that might even be speed creeping, which means that I run enough speed investment to outspeed other base 90 Pokemon that aren't really invested, um, meaning like Kyogre and Groudon and such. And so, yeah, that's that's basically it with my team. Oh, this is against Diddle My Wiz. So, yeah, here we go. Diddle My Wiz is actually going to be leading off with the Kyogre as I decide to lead off with my Darkrai. And now I had a battle before this and I didn't have an item on my Darkrai. So before this battle, I was like, hold on, let me put an item on it. So I put the Focus Ash on this guy because I feel like Focus Ash is the best um, play. Especially right here because I go for the Dark Void. And the only reason why he has his Kyogre out is because he has the Berry, a Berry that can get rid of his sleep. In this case, it is Lumberry um, as opposed to the Chesto Berry. And he goes for the Thunder Wave. Now, this is what I'm talking about. If I, if I have uh, Focus Ash, I can go for Dark Void, live a hit, go for Dark Void. And then as he's switches out, go for Thunder Wave, have two Pokemon status, but I uh, missabbed, did not save after I gave my Darkrai the Focus Ash, and I just die. so wasted a bunch of turns, but luckily got rid of the Lumberry, so that's, I guess, pretty good. I go out in my big gold ball, my Fortress, and I uh, managed to take one hit, because that's how Sturdy works, and even then, I didn't need it, but I go for Toxic Spikes, which is like my favorite move to go for with Fortress, because um, most of his team touches the ground, except for the Jump Pluff, and um, they he doesn't have a Spinner, so my Toxic Spikes are there to stay. I go out in my Kyogre here, I'm not sure if I'm speed creeping, like I said, or if I just won the speed tie. But I do manage to go for the Thunder, and it's easily a 2-hit KO. Even if he had leftovers, it still would have been a 2-hit KO. But he goes for the Thunder Wave, predicting me to be Scarfed is my guess. But I'm not Scarfed. Probably wouldn't have brought in Kyogre if I was Scarfed. But, um... He does manage to go for the Thunder. It does more than mine did, more than mine did, but that's because he's obviously modest, and uh, I'm clearly not because you guys know what I am. I am bold, so I do manage to take it out, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to switch this Kyogre to modest because bold is just not doing the damage that I want it to be doing. So uh, he goes out into his Ludicolo. I really have nothing to fear at this point. I just leave my Kyogre in his Death Fodder. As he misses the Focus Blast, I am able to go for a Thunder, get a huge hit off, bring this guy down to about half HP, and then after Poison Damage, he will be below half. Um, I mostly stayed in to fodder off my Kyogre, but at the same time, I can see what kind of set he's running. I didn't know if he would be, like, um, substitute with Leech Seed or some weird physical attacking set, but whatever. He goes for the Grass Knot, takes me out. He's at a very low range of HP. I am fairly comfortable with going into my Dialga, taking a Focus Blast, and going for a Dragon Pulse to take him out, but he actually misses the Focus Blast, and you, are got, you guys are starting to see a chain of what is happening here. He starts to miss a bunch of moves, so somebody is not treating their Pokemon right. He goes out into his Jump Pluff here and goes for the Sleep Power and misses. Does nobody pay attention to John's way of life? He obviously takes his Pokemon up high in the mountains to train in low visibility so they don't miss moves like Sleep Powder and Focus Blast twice. Somebody needs to take a note from John Origins, and that person is me. I have taken a note from John Origins. I left in my, Dial my Dialga here to, you know, center himself, to, to meditate, to take hits, and then retaliate with his own. So that's what he's going to do. He's going to meditate here. And, you know, com contemplate, you know, contemplate, if you want to say it correctly. And he sends out the Arceus. He's not phased. Dialga is not phased. He's going to go for the Dragon Pulse. It's okay. He doesn't really need to break through the sleep. He's just going to stay in, wait for the time to attack. It doesn't matter if this Arceus is Calm Mind because Dialga knows what he's doing. He's going to stay in here, take a Focus Blast, and he's going to live it with more than half because that's just how Dialga works. And it's okay. It's okay. Everybody calm down. Calm down. It's okay. Dialga knows what he's doing. I have trained my Pokemon deep, deep down in the depths of the earth to be able to dodge hits and to take hits and to meditate upon oneself and wake up and retaliate with a Dragon Pulse and, p and bring this thing down to way lower than half HP. And then, and then, if it wasn't good enough that I lived two Focus Blasts, I'm going to be able to live the Stab Judgment on 8 HP because that is how you properly train your Pokemon, Wiz.
You need to train your Pokemon. I learned from John Origins. He is my master. I am his apprentice, and I have done him justice. You have done him nothing but given him grief. So now he goes out into his uh, Mewtwo. Enough of that weird rambly nonsense. And uh, I'm actually just gonna go for the uh, Dark Pulse or the Dragon Pulse here as he goes to the Psy Strike. Um, I don't see Life Orb, which leads me to believe that he is either Specs or Choice Scarfed. Um, so I'm gonna go out into my um, my Arceus, as you guys will now see. It is Arceus. Bug. For those of you that didn't know, for those of you that came over from uh, Mulvone's channel, you guys knew it was Arceus Bug. For those of you that are old to my channel, you didn't know it was Arceus Bug. But I am physical, and I am I am able to take out this jump bluff uninvested with a X Scissor, which is really nice. So um, I go for the Swords Dance here because I I had a battle before this, and a Swords Dance uh, on the Skarmory was a two A KO. So I figure I might as well go for plus four, but I miss the Stone Edge. It's okay because my Arceus, like I said, was meditating, knew that he was gonna go for the Roost. Per Purposely missed the Stone Edge, so we can go for plus four, and then on this turn, uh, I can go for a plus four Stone Edge and do a lot of damage. His 30 is intact, so I won't be able to take it out, but I do manage to get over um, half HP, which is really nice. And he actually goes for the Whirlwind, Whirlwinds me out into my Choice Scarfed Zekrom. So now something's just gotta die to a Bolt Strike. Unfortunately for him, I do train, like I said, in the top peaks of Mount Everest, in low visibility, in low oxygen, or high oxygen? Wait, there's less oxygen up there. Anyway, uh, the, what I'm trying to say is, I managed to hit, I'm not like Wiz, I listen to John Origins, and uh, I managed to take him out with the Bolt Strike as he goes out into his Mewtwo. Turns out that he has Choice Scarf, and he is able to take me out with the Ice Beam. If I was Wiz, I would have gone for the Psy Strike, because I'm pretty sure that would have taken out um, my, uh, what's this thing called? My <laughs> Zekrom and my Arceus, but now I get to go out into my Arceus. I know for a fact that I can take uh, one Ice Beam, because he is more than likely uh, timid, Choice Scarf, as opposed to Modest, I get to go for the X-Scissor, take out that Mewtwo, and that's going to be good game, Ditto My Wiz. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Ditto My Wiz, for the battle. If you guys are not aware of his channel, which I don't know how you would be aware of mine and not his, but uh, feel free to click from the Kyogre all the way to the Mewtwo. It'll take you directly to his channel. Like his stuff, favorite it, do whatever you want. Subscribe to him is the number one thing. Uh, if you guys want to click A1's videos, it'll take you to John's channel. Um, you can go ahead and watch his videos, find out why I want to train my Pokemon in low visibility and deep down in the Earth's crust um, in low visibility to meditate and train and dodge moves and whatnot so yeah if you guys want to see my last video go ahead and click the kyogre if you guys want to see my next video when i upload it click the dark right if you guys want to see the um following introduction tuesday uh video click the versus recorder there's a lot of annotations here um the versus recorder won't be active until next week when i upload another one so that will be for those of you that uh missed this one and watch the next one so yeah that's about it thank you guys for watching thank you guys so much for 400 subs i really appreciate it it's really awesome to get that many uh subscribers and i thank mulvone and i thank pmp beta for the awesome awesome chance to get that many subscribers so thank you guys love you all peace love and later gators